So actually my preparations started the day before. So this was a new part of the setup that I'm very much interested to hook up and see how it comes out. So this is essentially, I'll show you because the box is already empty. I purchased this from Amazon as part of a flash deal. I believe it was about like $14, which is a great deal for this particular thing. This is a TV stand. Um, I'll leave a link down in the description if you're interested in it. But essentially, I have a Samsung KS8000. And with that, the legs are really wide and it takes up a lot of space on my TV stand. So I decided to get this so that I can mount it a little and I felt like it would look better as well. And surprisingly, this was very simple to set up. It took me about 30 minutes. It's very nicely organized. I mean, it's already set up now. I didn't really film the process. It was kind of hectic. It was doing in the middle of the night with my kids. But these were the legs of the KS8000. And basically what happened is that they would spread apart and they would take up so much space on my TV stand. But the setup for this was extremely simple. Instructions were very coherent. Everything is nicely labeled with letters for each step. A nice short booklet. But overall, the process was not painful at all. I was thinking that maybe sometimes these random kits that you get from Amazon, you never know how that'll turn out. But this one surprisingly was really simple and really easy to build. Before I show you what it looks like actually, basically this stand here or this bottom is like a tempered glass material. It has a nice weight to it. That's why the box said it was heavy. And then from there you can mount your TV on here and it kind of raises it up as well. And then it leaves all this space down here free. But here, I'll show you what the finished product looks like. So I don't know how well it's projecting here, but if you can see, this is a tempered glass material. It's actually really nice. I thought it was gonna be really dusty and fingerprint prone, but actually, remarkably, whatever they coated this glass with, it gives it a really, really nice, sleek look. And now, as you can see, we've freed up a lot of space. You can compare it to my last setup video, and you can see that before, the legs of the TV used to come out here and here. And now the TV's raised up from my TV stand and it has a nice floating appearance. There's even a little bit of cable management back there. And I think overall it just gives this whole section a little bit of a classy look. This is not my ideal setup. Like I said, I had a condo that I sold recently, but I'll show you what it looks like from the back. So it mounts up on the back like that. It's a Visa mount or Visa mount, whatever you want to call it. Just make sure your TV is compatible with that. But it's actually really secure and really sturdy, surprisingly sturdy. And it kind of raises up the TV like that. And as you can see, look how much cleaner it is back there. No clutter whatsoever. And now my TV is nice and raised. And I think overall it looks really fantastic. Now the next part of this potential PlayStation 5 setup is the fact that I had to get one of these. So this is basically, obviously I didn't buy it. This is used. Um, was laying in the house, nobody was using it. So I figured, you know what, maybe I could potentially use it because I'm planning on keeping my PlayStation vertically and not horizontally. It could potentially fit, I think, horizontally here or here. But to be honest, I mean, everyone keeps saying it's really big. I'm not really sure how it is. And then I want, I, I want it to be an ideal environment for air circulation. So I ended up just putting this to the side. I mean, it doesn't look great, but at least I know I can easily stand the PlayStation 5 up right here and just have it hooked up. So for now, I mean like the setup isn't the best looking setup in the world. I do really like the new stand that I got for my television. However, I mean, at the end of the day, for now, what I'm really looking for is functionality, less looking for the looks. Hopefully if I end up moving or having a new place, I can work on the looks. But for now, I'm looking more at functionality. I think if the PlayStation is here, it'll be an ideal place where it gets plenty of air. And that's really all I'm concerned about right now. I just want to be able to play once in a while when I'm downtime, not studying, not working, uh, you know, mess around and play a little bit of the PlayStation 5. So that's pretty much how I've revamped my setup a little bit just to make it a little bit neater and cleaner and make a little bit of a better environment for the PlayStation 5. But this stand really so far has surprised me. It's a really good stand. If you're happy to get it on Amazon, it's worth checking out. So I'll leave a link down below. So let's see, let's see. Hopefully we'll have a PlayStation 5 on here soon. So until next time.